Hello comrades and welcome back to Shamka show. Well, we got distracted for quite a long time, but finally I decided, okay, it's time for us to come back to the story of mine. Uh, I was trying to have a story from my birth back in July of 1971 and going through the daycare, the kindergarten, I mean, and uh, nursery, then kindergarten, then school. And where we stopped was the fourth grade. So now we're looking at my Shodenik, which is like a note. Uh, you can translate it as a diary, but this is your, uh, like a notebook uh, that you keep track of your uh, school subjects. Uh, so Shodenik is Ukrainian word for the diary. Uh, fifth uh, grade. So I started school at age of seven, first grade. So this is fifth grade, so I'm 12 year old and I started school in 1979, so this is 1984. I'm going to the middle school, number 223, Kiev, uh, Ukraine. So this is a standard form, I'm gonna move a little bit away. I think I showed those before, right, for the fourth grade, but this is my, thanks to my mom, she kept all that, my um, Shodenik in my diaries, uh, school diaries. And this particular book was, uh, it's the standard of 1978 right here. And the price was 14 uh, kopecks, so 14 cents. And it's Ukrainian version of uh, the diary. And should I thought about English word, but it's not notebook. But uh, so this is what you keep your uh, subjects, you spring. Okay, it's your school planner, pretty much. This is what the correct uh, word to say about it. So let's take a look what we got here. All right, so we open the first page. And here's a standard form, uh, rules how to maintain your diary. So in the beginning of uh, your school year, you must fill up the cover of the book and also enter the uh, names of your subjects and schedule of your lessons. Uh, every day a pupil must uh, write down ho what homework they must to do and the homework should be, uh, so homework task should be placed on a day on which they must be performed or by which days it must be performed. Uh, so uh, then of course teacher after you uh, do whatever you do in class. They put uh, your, they give you a, a mark. Uh, in already mentioned many times, we had pretty much five was excellent, so that's A. Four was good, which is B. Three was C, which is satisfactory, and two you failed. So the teacher must put the this number in the diary and also must sign it. And then, of course, uh, remember we had a, uh, one teacher who was in charge of our class, like I think somebody mentioned, it's called home teacher. Uh, so she would be, she must uh, watch that everything is correctly. And then in the end of the week, she, she will mark how many days or how many lessons the pupil missed. Same, there's a spot to put the comments about any, uh, like how the uh, student be was behaving. In the end of each week, uh, parents should uh, take a look at the diary and put their signature. And uh, all the notes in this diary should be uh, done correctly and uh, done neatly. So this is the rules how to maintain the school book diary. Not the school book, but we'll call it diary. Next page here is kind of like a general overview of uh, my teachers. So. In order to remember the teacher's name, I put the subjects in here, so you can pretty much, this is the subject that t kids were uh, t uh, studying, learning in the fifth grade. So this is, as I said, a 12 year old. And the first one is botanics. So that's part of like a biology, but here we study only plants and trees. Um, I barely remember the teacher, uh, Ludmila uh, Math. Next subject, uh, Sophia Yurina, I believe she was a Jewish teacher, man, she was so mean. She was really mean teacher. To get an excellent grade from her, to get five was extremely hard. And she forced us to 
uh, when you memorize something she's just like well if you can memorize it you have to write down like 20 times and show me uh, then we got truth which is labor education next one is geography all I remember about the teacher, she had a really nice big rack. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, but that's all I remember. Uh, physical education, физическая культура. So that's like called like physical culture. Uh, I was in love with his daughter. Um, this teacher, she was in my class. She was very cute. Next one, uh, Taran Ekaterina. Kind of scary. Maybe some of these people are already dead by now. Because this is, as I said, 1984. So this is what? 40 years ago? Oh my goodness. Uh, yep, it's quite a chance, quite a few of these people already died. Uh, Russian language and literature. Um, don't remember all this lady. Uh, then you got Ukrainian uh, language and literature. I remember Nikolai Yakovlevich. Um, we had to uh, give him a nickname, uh, Bold Island, <laughs> because when we were already in school waiting for our class, so we would be on the uh, second floor, and so we kind of up high. And when we saw him approaching school, he had a bald spot on the top. So you see his head, and he has, you know, hair, and then there's the bald round spot right in the middle of his head. So he was called Bald Island. History. Uh, her daughter, uh, she, I think she was also a director. Later she became a director of school, so like a school principal. What we call a director. Uh, her daughter studied in our class and uh, all the boys thought she was so hot, like it was a popular thing to be in love with her. I didn't like her. Uh, next one is uh, foreign language. So interesting, we were studying English, but it was called, not called English language, it was called foreign language, in Yaz. And the uh, Gelman, Rima Arkadina, she was a Jewish teacher and she actually moved to America in the early 90s and I met her in Chicago uh, like in 1996, 97 was a nice um, to meet her again so she moved to the uh, United States uh, by there was that special um, immigration law in America that uh, a lot of Jewish people left Soviet Union then we had Risavania which is like, like drawing don't remember that lady at all and then we had music. So this is the subject that Soviet kids uh, were studying in the fifth grade. So it's a 12 year old kids, botanics, math, labor, geography, uh, physical culture, Russian language, Russian literature, Ukrainian language, Ukrainian literature, history, foreign language, uh, drawing and music. So uh, foreign language also there was uh, other uh, schools were t uh, learning German. But since uh, I think like it was big switch in 60s and 70s since our potential enemy became United States. So from German uh, they switched and started teaching kids English. Okay, and here we got the schedule, the weekly schedule uh, for each class. So, and that's, this is the tragedy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So this is the proof um, that Soviet children had to go to school six days a week. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I remember I'm, I'm getting ready to go to school on Saturday and my parents at home, you know, they have a weekend and I was like, this is not fair. This is horrible. So as you see, uh, the classes started at 8.30 in the morning. And then they go uh, till 9.15. So lessons were for uh, 45 minutes. And apparently, huh, you know what? I thought we had a, a break between classes 15 minutes, but it looks like we had only five minutes before between first and the second class. Then we got 9.20 to 10.05. And then we had between second and third we had 15 minutes break interesting so first it will be only five minutes and then it'll be 15. maybe i wrote made a mistake writing it but uh, check it out this this is a really interesting detail so i'm a fifth grader look how i write time 12 o'clock 1300 1400 so you see in in soviet union we always used so-called military time where's my fingers military time I even didn't know it's called military time. I explained it in my book, uh, Rush American Diaries, 1995. I was shocked that Americans, most Americans had no idea 
what 1500 or 1600 means this is a fifth grade and I'm already and uh, this is a normal way of writing time it's you know my classes in school were over at 1400 so you see usually we had one two three four five lessons per day uh, two days a week we had six lessons per day so the longest will be all the way in school till 1400 which is two o'clock for those who don't know otherwise the class will be over at 1310 which is one o'clock and 10 minutes all right so we're going to take a look at the very first day of school uh, schools in soviet union always started on the september 1st except if it's on sunday uh, so you know this time you see like at monday tuesday were still august so wednesday was september 1st and it's interesting so i have a little comment on drawing says not ready for a lesson so a teacher wrote the comment maybe i forgot pencils or paper so i didn't bring stuff uh so i wasn't ready for that class and that's what how the notes look and usually teachers write in, in red and it's interesting also uh, the first lesson was actually not a actual lesson it's called leninsky rock so that uh, lenin lesson so we were talking about lenin and then russian language and then math and then drawing and English language. And then, of course, you know, on the top right here, let me move this camera a little bit so we can see. So it has a month, September. Then you got a list of the classes that I have that day. On Thursday, it's geography, English language, math, Russian language, and physra, which is a physical education. And I write my homework. She says, uh, English language, it's a page number for. 24 and uh, looks like I had to do number one and number 17 exercises then math Russian language and a little comment says bring the uniform for this for the physical education so I need to bring my uh, sweatpants and stuff like that uh, so this is and then in the end uh, this is the signature of my teacher uh, my uh, like home teacher, so the teacher who is in charge of our class, and then my parents must sign too that they verify that how my week went. So I was a quite nerdy, uh, smart kid, and you could see uh, there's my grades. I got uh, five on Ukrainian language, um, I got five on English. And I got again five in English. English, I was always had five. I always had A. So there's also uh, somewhere A plus. And there's a cute little comment. I guess I didn't fill my diary properly, my notebook. So the teacher wrote the comment, fill up your diary. And then, of course, it's a teacher's signature. And there's my dad's signature. And I got four on math on this day. So now I want to show you this is what drives me nuts, like uh, I compare well, my son Oliver, he's uh, going to be 13 and they basically don't have any homework. That drives me nuts. So I just want to show you an example. Look, I told you the teacher math was really mean. I have a three, which is C, but check it out. This is my homework for Monday. So there's a one, two, three different uh, home tasks and something else to learn. Next, so math looks like we had every single day we had math and every day there's a bunch of math problems I had to solve. So you come home and um, you gotta work those, you gotta solve them, uh, find, and then my mom will check, make sure they have correct answers. Interesting comment for my labor class. For some reason, I was late for class. So there's a comment, I was dull no rock, late for class. And once again, math, more math. So this is, uh, let's look at the Wednesday. Uh, so I had to have some kind of uh, thing to do for Ukrainian language. Then I had to finish my drawing uh, for, uh, for drawing class. Then I had homework, uh, four different tasks. And that task could have maybe like five or six exercises. So, you know, for example, you know, different kind of, so whatever you study, so there'll be one uh, style of exercise, maybe five different six. So you got, it's easy, hour, two hours a day in math work. And I got five, how about that, I got A. Then you got Ukrainian language, Ukrainian literature, 
so usually in literature you read books or, st or, or learn some poems. So I had to learn, memorize some kind of poem. Then I had to do English and I had to do Russian. So for example, this is what I had to do on Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, I had to have a Ukrainian language done, Russian, uh, Russian language done, English language done, memorize the poem and do math and my finish some drawing. So we had a pretty hardcore uh, schooling going. Here, geography, I had to uh, memorize previous class. I had to learn new words in English. Once again, tons of homework and math. Uh, then I had to write some words in Russian and then I need to bring uniform for the school. Uh, so this is what I had to deal every day in school. So as you see, adds a lot of studying so for me it's definitely i we were busy i was literally um i started my homework maybe at 5 or 6 p.m and it's easy going all the way to like 8 and 9 to get all done um so we were having a lot of homework i want to show you my week in november looks like i wasn't doing really well so apparently uh, if you see this red question mark, so I forgot, for some reason I quit writing down my homework. So the teacher put a bunch of question marks like why you don't place what homework you're supposed to do. And then, I'm not sure what happened, but I got two which is failed for the physical education. I think I forgot to bring my uniform, so it's automatically, uh, you put, they give you F. failing it and then teacher write this comment you must write down uh, your homework and she gave me f again fail or two and like say unsatisfactory and my dad signed it right there so yep teachers were mean we had to study six days a week and we had a lot a lot of homework Another cute comment from the teacher of English says that I was uh, I'm being distracted during uh, lessons of English. Atlikaitsa na uroke. But I got uh, four, which I got B for the actual lesson, but uh, for some reason the uh, teacher wasn't happy. Uh, and here in physical education we were uh, supposed to practice uh, rolling back and forward so like you roll forward you roll backwards interesting so as you see once again a lot of homework you might recognize familiar word house so there was some kind of exercise uh, with the word house in translation to this word another common comment from my math teacher i got two which is d and something about that I wasn't doing a really good job with my homework. Очень плохо работает, doing a poor job. Got five in physical education. Got another five in Ukrainian language. And, and you see, she was so mean, she just like crossed over and even put here. That lady. One time we actually, a couple of kids were so upset with her. They, you know, she, during the winter, she comes because you know, everyone had to walk no one had car none of our teachers so everyone walked so she would come in the winter in the winter boots and then she would change to you know comfortable uh, just regular shoes uh, to wear in school because it's warm there so we put the you know the pins that you pin stuff to the wall uh, so we put it inside of her shoe and point two things up so when she put her shoes back on we got our little payback for her being so mean Kind of interesting and I don't remember but you see I once in a while I had a poor grades like this is Ukrainian language and says I didn't perform didn't come to school and I didn't have my homework done so she gave me two she gave me a D I guess right or F to fail and interesting this is um says that uh, on the March 11 there is a Parents teachers conference or teachers at 1900 hey who can tell right away what time is it 1900 that's right 7 p.m. so uh, tells you when so it's in the room number one of three first is like everyone gathers in the 
big uh, uh, hole and then parents of our class will go to the cabinet number 103 we call the room's cabinet so at 1900 on, fri on Friday uh, teach my parents well, usually my mom was gone uh, to go and uh, listen about kids and another interesting detail and actually a lot of people who grew up with these um, diaries school diaries like I still do that like if I'm trying to picture what day of the week is uh, like today I'm making this video I think it's uh, May 2nd so if I'm trying to think what day of the week will be May 9th for example I will think okay it's like today May 2nd it's Thursday so I, in my mind I'll have a page of this diary and be like okay so May 3rd is Friday, May 4th is Saturday, May 5th is not on the book because it's Sunday, then May 6th Monday, May 7th. So in my head I still use this kind of like a layout of my school diary to figure out which day of the week will be specific day of the month. And apparently a lot of uh, people who finished Soviet school who had this school diary, they do exactly the same thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a. Uh, you know, for some reason, I got a, a unsatisfactory for my attitude at the physical education. Wow, I thought I was a good pupil, good student. Uh, so this is how we were uh, learning stuff in the fifth grade. As I said, a lot of homework, uh, a lot of. And another, this I want to show you two details. So we had music, but what we did with music, it was mostly just learning a song. So he says, learn the song. So I had to memorize the lyrics of the song, and we would just, first he will make everyone to just read it to make sure everyone knows it. Then he plays the piano and we will sing that song. I hated the music for that reason because it was nothing about, you know, teaching, okay, this is your. Uh, mixed voice, it's your uh, pitch voice, whatever. It was just like, okay, uh, tell me the lyrics, all right, checks all class, all last 30 kids, then we know the lyrics, and then we're gonna sing that song on it twice, and he plays it and tune on the, on the piano. And you see here, that day was a good day, I had a good and grades for everything. And pretty much the last page of the uh, school diary. Okay, so this is, was 1982-1983 uh, school year. And we had a separate, I was showing the two, um, like a school table that tell, shows you all the, your grades. Because we had four quarters, I think just like in America, in each quarter you got your grades. Uh, so this is what I put my grades, what I had uh, for, from the first, second, and third grade. And of course they match the subjects. So I see I had uh, Ukrainian language, 455, five. Ukrainian literature, all five. So I was doing pretty well. I was always struggling with math. It's, it's, I mean, it's still a good grade. It's a B, solid B. Um, so yeah, this is how uh, it looked. And then of course we'll have a final exams. And I think I got a little bit confused. I told you our very first test uh, we had at fourth grade, but I think it was actually the fifth grade. I'll check in a second. I'll let you know. Okay, so you're looking at the table. So this is uh, our official document of me finishing the fifth grade. And um, this is the symbol of Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. Uh, the Ministry of Education of Ukrainian Soviet Social Republic. My name, town, the rules, how to fill this paperwork. But interesting, it, this is uh, made for Ukraine, but it's in the Russian language. So that's interesting. All right, and uh, so here we are. I said, this is my grades. And uh, yeah, apparently we had a test in math. So you see here, actually I missed it. All I needed to do is to have one five, one A in one of these quarters. And I have a score excellent on my test. 
and I would get a final score excellent but I didn't do it I didn't figure out the trick yet later that's what I would do I would the shortest was the uh, second quarter so I'll study super hard I'll get myself five which is a then I get a on the test and my final score will be five excellent so I don't have to study that hard for the rest of the year just because I could keep up easy to get four and I will have a trouble you know so and test usually doesn't have a problem and it says right here that I was transferred to the sixth grade and here it's like how you behave in school so premier that's excellent so I had three excellent and one was just satisfactory and the final was excellent I'm not sure what happened maybe I fell in love <laughs> can't tell you but yeah this is what uh, how I spent 1982 and 1983 in my fifth grade it said a lot of homework going to school every day including Saturday being home only on Sundays tough life of the Soviet student and like this form was printed in 1980 but I said it's interesting it is Ukrainian design but it's in Russian language Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little introduction of uh, the life of the poor Soviet student. As I said, we had to study a lot, we had to go to school a lot, and it blows my mind how little homework, how little school going on right now here in America. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I think it's, it's way too easy. I don't think kids are being prepared uh, to the reality of life because it's it's getting harder and harder technology developing more and more and kids are uh, just spending less time learning I, I don't know man but anyway i hope you enjoyed the show and uh, as always i'm uh, interested to hear your comments and you can you you can share your experience in school uh, tell me what you studied when you were in the fifth grade and we'll talk to you soon До свидания. goodbye and if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union.